This video is going to talk to you today about how to make a seesaw activity with explicit instruction, active hyperlinks, and a template for students to respond on. So as you can see, I have created a PowerPoint again as usual. I love PowerPoint. And I just have my little mini lesson that the students will engage with before they complete the task. So in this format, um, the students wouldn't be able to hear me and they would need to be able to read the slides and comprehend them themselves. So to begin with, I've just got um, what the activity is and a little instruction that says read the slides carefully and then complete the activity. I've got my learning intention and just a list of materials that the students will require for the lesson. My next slide, um, I'd like them to watch this YouTube video there. Um, but for some people, we know that they can't access um, the clickable links once we turn the PowerPoint to a PDF. So I'm going to show you on Seesaw how to embed that link so it works for everyone. I've also got um, just saying what the next few slides are. So the students will be required to read through the slides and develop an understanding of what the concept is. Then I've got a traditional I do, so showing them how I would do it. And it's a little bit different because it's not me um, speaking, they just have to read it, but hopefully that will help them. Then I've skipped the we do because that's a little bit harder to do online and jump straight to the you do. And I've just explained that um, they need to go to the template to be able to do this. So that's a different section in the activity library. From there, I need to save my PowerPoint as a PDF. So that's file, save as, and I'm just going down here to PDF and export, and that will export as a PDF. Now in Seesaw, and I need to create a new activity. So just add, assign activity, and create new activity. From there, I'm going to pop in my activity name and my instructions. So as you can see, I've named my activity as per our school processes, and I've got clear instructions that include the symbols, um, and I've audio recorded them there. So the next thing I'm going to do is add multimedia instructions. Click in there, and I'm uploading, and I'm selecting from my computer. Selecting the PDF that we created earlier. Now you can see our PowerPoint has been uploaded, and all the slides are exactly the same as they were in the PowerPoint, all of them there. And this is the slide that I'd like to have the link on. We can see it's here, but we know that, that doesn't always work for our students. So all I need to do is click on the caption button there, paste my link, click back into the activity, and then it will work for students. And I'm about to show you what that looks like for them. Once I'm happy with that, I don't want to make any more changes. I press my green tick. I want to upload our template for our students so add template and even if you don't have a physical template here it's a good idea um, if you're wanting them to respond like for example maybe you want them to just to type something to click um, the note section there and say type your answer here just to give them the idea of what to do because sometimes they just get a little bit stuck uh, for myself I am uploading an image and they're going to respond straight onto that image and yep, yeah, happy with that, so tick. So I've adjusted my um, instructions just a little there, but apart from that, I'm really happy with it. So let's take a look at what that looks like from the student perspective. We can see it has the activity name, it has the instructions, symbols, audio recording, and then it's got our little mini lesson up here. So when they're um, looking at that, they just click onto it, same as the PowerPoint as we flick through the slides and I'm just going to flick through to the one that has the link on it. We can see that the hyperlink is here. Obviously they can't click on it. So they click here, it's going to open it up for them. And now the video will play. Um, moving back here, we can also see that they've got their template which they can click on to edit and give their response. And that's it from there. You assign the activity as usual, pop it into your folder, assign it to your students, and hopefully it will work for them.